deep into Quebec, boys. We sure are. Yeah. Oh, you can explain where the hell we're going. No. No. We've come all the way up to Quebec to give you boys a sneak peek behind the scenes at uh, what would be a Kimpex conference. Yep. Yeah. Be a, like their dealer trade show. Dealer trade show, yeah. So this should be kind of interesting. We can sneak peek maybe some products, maybe a tour of the warehouse. That would be neat. We'll see. But we're down here for a couple days, so it should be interesting. Big launch tonight. Big products tonight. Okay. Yeah. Unveiling at 8 o'clock. Very cool. And neither one of us speak a lick of French. So this should be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Right. She looks beautiful out there, but she's cold, crisp, and windy as hell, so. cargo system. This is awesome. Pretty solid. Yeah, very cool. Man, these tires that allow you to drive so aggressive, I can't imagine, really. Uh, anything else I really noticed? Obviously, it's got the uh, BRP roof on it, but uh, oh, that's Dragonfire Racing as well, eh? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. I like that feel. Pretty cool. Not sure I'm a big fan of the mirror. I'm sure I'd like the mirrors as far as function, but I'm uh, not sure if I'm digging the look of them. They kind of look like floppy dog ears or something. Makes the Mav look a little bit sad, I think, eh? I don't know, boys, but uh, I'm digging the black on black on black. <laughs> you guys know I'm a big fan of the black, so...
for presenting you first the brand new Trans 1.5 AMS helmet, but the engineering team did not stop there. system. She's day two of the Kimpex conference, and uh, it doesn't really open or start till about one o'clock. They just fed us lunch, which was really nice and nice of them. They actually hooked me up with some swag too. But uh, we're gonna take a little quick walk around before this place fills up with folks. Let's see what they got laid out. Gates, gates, belts. Highly recommended by a lot of folks, for sure. Important to break them in properly though, I guess. Uh, well, as with any belt, right? So, but uh, all this available through Dirty Life too, I might mention while we get started here. Use the batteries. I think everything basically comes with one. I think the Rennies have them in them. Pretty sure of it, but uh, studs, stud boys. We saw them at the Toronto International Power Sports Show. And then we've got a whack of helmets and lids. Very cool. There's something that I wouldn't mind having on the back of the Renegade for the winter time right there, boys. That sure could come in handy, eh? I know the sledders like to keep them on hand, but they'd actually come in handy for us too. There's our muck off. Kick ass, ooh, I'd like to get me a hold of that jug. Check that out. Sizable. Wicked. And my favorite part, the treads. What do we got, terms? You know, we're standing here with Trevor and he has a dilemma, boys, and maybe you guys could chime in and let us know what you think. What's the problem, Trev? Well, the problem is, you kind of got me really interested in the <laughs> stupid XM3 10s, but I had my mind set that was going to be the Intimidators this year. And what size? Um, we go 32s yeah. on the Intimidators and probably if we go to the XM3 10s, it also means changing rims and going to a 33. Yeah. So, yeah, you'd go the 18s and throw on the 33s, I eh? Think so. I well, think I, so. I, I, my vote is going there, boys. So let me know what you guys think, um, but because I'd yeah. like to see 18s on that 900 Polaris It'd as be, well. It'd be nice to again with the 900. You don't have the power to turn the intim intimidators as easily. Yeah. So I think the yeah. Of the XM310, if well, there's it's a, a good question. Tire, what, do we know approximately what these weigh, Trev? They're very similar to an assassinator. Those ones are going to be right around. The yeah, you know what? Those will be right around 58 pounds. You think, eh? And that's a 29.5 yeah, versus, no, that's a 29 versus a 28. And I can tell you right out of the gate that that tire was quite a bit lighter than that one. That's a 14 wide and that's only a nine and a half though. So you got a lot of rubber on here. You got a lot of rubber and that is, that's got some movement and, and flex to it too though, but not quite. Well, these are a stiff too until you get your thumb into them. They're nice and soft. But, uh, uh that's a good yeah. dilemma to have. Yeah. <laughs> Not such a bad a problem. Yeah, but exactly. Right yeah, on. Yeah. Quite the little product. This is Dylan, and he's going to give us a little uh, tutorial here as to how it works. That's a, that's a 
that easy, man. Roll it up in. Roll it out. Drop her down. You can see he's got himself a safety strap there, so he can't pull it any further than necessary. Well, that's it, boys. Drive your quad on up there. Grab onto her, slide her in. Strap her down, and you're good to go, man. That's a very cool product, man. Very lightweight, I'm assuming, all aluminum. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Works really well with that sled on her. Yeah. Perfectly gapped. You can see how everything's kind of grabbing around the, the centers. It's nice. Real nice. Kick-ass job. Appreciate that, Dylan. Thanks, man. But Trevor says only the best is on display here because they got a player set up and I said that there's just so many of them available the rest of the machine is gone that's the thing the clutch is great the rest of the machine is gone <laughs> so they said here take this pretty cool eh this little Ultramax set up there Ultimax, Ultimax. Ultimax. Here's something that would have came in handy for a lot of people this year in our area. But yes, I saw, you know, the boys on Side by Side blog, everybody watches them, you all know, you can watch them go down to the hardware store and just grab some screws and <laughs> drop them in. But uh, here we have a specifically designed for that very purpose. Get your studs. Yeah. I'm gonna check this out here, boys. Ram mounts. Am I supposed to like? This is way better than ram mounts. Well, this is better than ram mounts. This is. This is not compared to ram. No. Okay. The only reason you can compare it is because they're the ones that have been around forever. But now that you've heard of us, there's no more ram mounts. Yeah, buddy. Mob mount. So what do I do? Go walk you guys through everything. Magnetic. When do we get some GoPro mounts? Right here, sir. Really? We have I'm a whole gonna kit have for to you, check man. that out. Look at it. I'm holding this damn thing in my hand because my brother's got. So a whole we have kit. this one right here. That's a claw mount. It goes to any size tubing. We yeah. have our magnetic housing one that actually pivots if you need to get some angles, some cool angles. And then we have our direct magnet mount one that has no pivoting. These are all very, very How strong. How strong? Yeah. Very strong. Very strong, eh? So these two are magnets. This will clip to any bar, eh? Yes, sir. To give you an idea, here's the magnet, the strength. Yeah, that's just just strong enough, boys, that you're not gonna lose or smashing into something. But just strong enough, just got too strong. Now try. Yeah, buddy. No, that's what I'm talking about. I just get rid of the rubber right away. Get rid of the rubber, boys. Yo, put the rubber back on. Day three of the Kimpex conference, and uh, they offered up a little tour of their warehouse, so why the hell wouldn't we, right boys? We're gonna jump on a bus, we're gonna head over and see uh, just how much product these boys have in stock. This should be pretty cool. All right boys, we're here. We got a couple warehouses. We got one on this side of the road, and one behind the bus, of course, but uh, at least you go to goes. Take the back door, eh? These Maxis are all of the wild things, CSTs, eh? That's a Maxis. Guaranteed that's a Maxis, you can tell. Sure is. That's the Zilla. Holy crap, that's a wide one. Wow. Tires for days. 
We hit the mother load. <laughs> Where's the back door, boys? Where's the back door? This place is nuts. More and more. Holy crap. They stock a lot of tires. Titans for days. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Just to make sure they don't have to go as far up. Yeah, that makes sense, especially from a safety aspect. Well, this is the area where I'm just like skis. We could just skip by the skis and look right at the plows. Hey. Look at that. Look at that setup. Razor. That is a no, I think the plow, <laughs> hey. The razor. What did you do to the suspension? It looks like it's sitting on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's nice. That's a really nice setup. You ain't kidding, boys. No more getting in and out to switch the angle. That's great. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a pretty nice little unit. This is quite a nice little razor, bud. Yeah, that looks really cool. With the light bar. Well, one rollover. Get your storage bin. Pretty cool. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, man. Didn't mean to make so that much noise, eh? It's just the guy over in the corner drinking a beer. <laughs> Brand new technology to replace any bungee there is out there. Just look it down. Pull it. Yeah, it works great, man. That's awesome, man. Beats the hell out of fighting with your bungee or your uh, ratchet straps, eh? Tying up all the loose ends. Down to Kingston, Ontario. He didn't quite get her hook. I know, I know. I watched. He didn't even hook it. It is 32, eh? Wow. Well, I guess the stand makes it sit up right. Yeah, right now. Yeah, I guess it wasn't paying much attention there. Compass wear. Boys. Newman. They need a new set. I don't know if they need to be that white, though. Holy crap. How deep is the powder burger? Another great add-on. That's something I wanted on the King Quad as well. Look at the little Honda. Pioneer, man. <laughs> That's awesome. Don't spill a drop. <laughs> Very cool. Paddle shifter, eh? On the, uh, this is a 500. Yeah, it is. 500 automatic. Little paddle shifter. This would be a neat little uh, toy for around the farm or around the hunting camp or... Taken hunting, Jeff Ware. Those are pretty, uh, pretty badass onesie suits for sure, man. The boots look top notch, high quality. Bet you they're lightweight. helmet that they have which is uh pretty cool looking i might add it actually kind of reminds me of somebody's helmet i don't know whose but reminiscent for sure back on the bus back to the hotel let's get home get ready for the weekend and go for a rep boys i hope you guys had fun uh joining me on this little tour i thought it was kind of neat Little unveiled product action there the other night of the new mission helmet for CKX. Kind of cool. Tour of the facility. Walk around, check out a bunch of products. Ah, man, it was fun. Really enjoyed it. And I do want to say thanks to Trevor from Dirty Life for uh, inviting me along and uh, giving you guys this experience. So, cheers. We'll talk to you soon.